Hey everybody, Amy Blue Sky here. It's been a little while, I know. I don't know where the time goes, it just keeps slipping. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping. I'm almost finished. I think I'm like 80% finished or so with the tree. Right behind me is a stump, a fallen tree and stump that Jay Suit built in this area. It's very cool. Started making a little path here and oh, and he's expanded on this even more. So it's like a little tunnel. This is so awesome. Love it. It's fantastic. This is cool. Look at the, got the moss growing on the old stump. Huge fallen tree. Love it. Fantastic. And here, this is the entrance. Fallen tree hobbit hole. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, fantastic. I love it. I love it. Oh, yeah. This is a very nice house. I think I might have to move in here. <laughs> oh, very cool. I love it. It's got the pantry. <laughs> oh, I love this idea. I mean, so many hobbit holes are all kind of look the same. I mean, I made one and somebody else makes one. They all kind of look the same. Um, this is cool. This is very different. <laughs> then we have an entrance here on this side into Tree Town. And here's the mother tree, the monster tree, the mother tree I've been working on. Yep. And as you can see, got quite a bit done. I'm thinking about um, the person who I took this tree from over from suggested maybe using I think I might use birch instead of orange instead of acacia we'll see I finished I'm pretty much finished I think with the leaves on the top I mean I was gonna put different colored leaves in I have a bunch of spruce leaves and stuff it's really hard <laughs> I really wouldn't recommend making a huge tree like this in survival um, to me it's like a creative type of project um, but I did figure out, like, dirt scaffolding still has a place in life, <laughs> in Minecraft life. But scaffolding up there and then making, being able to just build a platform out with dirt underneath the branches to work was a way easier and faster than what I was trying to do with just scaffolding. And as you can see, if you watched Jay Suit's video, uh, tour video at the end, we... We walked inside the tree and stuff, but as you can see, I'm, this is the last bit. I'm working on these little buildings here and finish that. I think I might, again, change that to birch. A lot of people, I mean, this kind of reminds me of an elven type build, and a lot of people um, use diorite and, for the elven builds, which I think is cool, but not here. I think not in this tree. Look at this. Isn't this fantastic? I love it. Oh, and also built an estuary over here. I worked on that and a uh, new miner put in some more palm trees. Did you want to see the inside? Let's take a look at the inside and then um, I'll do a little bit of building and then we will cut over and look at, um, see what Jesuit has finished. I think he's finished with the uh, Persian, Phoenician, Roman, whatever, fantasy. <laughs> sea build thing he's got going over there. Go up and yeah. Oh, oh, also, yeah, I finished the downstairs. I forgot. Let me show you. <laughs> yeah, a little overdone, but I like it. Yep. So we have this little tunnel. As you remember, this came out here, from the back of the tree. Um, I need to fix this. I don't like this solid wall of oak. We need to make this more like broken up. Anyway, so here we go. Uh, yep, the back of the tree. Got these mushrooms have been spreading on their own. <laughs> oh, and then I did leave this um, in case the previous owner, the owner wants to come back. He still owns it. Wants to come back and live here. He can still have his mine underneath here. Um, the soul sand puts out a little souls flying out and then here is the storage room that i finished underneath the roots of the tree i got 
some water down here. It's a little bit damp. Got a little sleeping corner over here behind the mushrooms. And in any case, and here's a little workshop area and storage, and that's it. I really like it a lot. <laughs> and let's see, so let's go. I can't remember if I showed you the top. I was thinking of closing these rooms off, but I think I'll leave them open. And here was the, the main floor inside the tree. Got a little bed here. And see out there, it's quite a nice view. Hmm. I, hmm, I think I'm, from this view, this looks like it needs more, more leaves down there. Um, yeah. And view at each side. I wanted to make it so you could fly in here if you wanted. Which you can. I've tested it. <laughs> nice view on all four sides. Then you go up here and there's a little uh, aerial platform basically. You can fly in here. Another kind of lookout place. Plenty of parkouring opportunities. And you can't really get up to the top here, but I did make a little flying sleeping platform at the top there, as you can see. So if you're flying around, you can stop on by and take a sleep. Okay, so anyway, here we are. I replaced the, I replaced the, um, you know, the orange stuff, Acacia, <laughs> with the birch to try it out. And you know what? I don't think I really like it for this build. I think in another build, and something else, the combination, I really do like the blue and white, but um, I think you need to stick with the kind of orange, the orange, yeah. I like it. And for this build, I like the orange better. So I'm going to replace that and um, get back to work. I kind of want to do the same kind of decoration detailing I did on the top of the tree. So I'm gonna wanna make it look like, you know, there's, I'm gonna put logs, like there's branches coming out and supporting these floors. And then we're gonna fit the pretty decoration, pretty woods in between to make it look, um, trying to make it look organic. Yeah, that's the plan. So, so far I've done a little bit and this, this is the side I was talking about how I didn't like how it was, it was too straight. And so try to break it up a little bit in this room. I had to add a little lighting. And what else did I do have done so far? Decorated this little inside of this little room here, a little flower box. And um, made the walls more varied. I, cut out and made out of the tree, part of the tree. And so you can see from here, I mean, I'm not sure if I like it so 100%, but I think it's better. Um, doesn't look like just a solid block of wood now. It kind of goes out here to the supporting this lower part of the, the houses. Tried to make it so that the branches are coming out. See, we talked about that. Um, supporting the floors up there. I, I, I'm pretty happy with it. I like it. Um, you know, maybe we, maybe we could go with a little bit more angled ones down there. Maybe like from that floor to that floor. That'd be kind of cool. And I put in a little door here on the side and kind of to go with, so it's just, we didn't just have just a window up there. Um, that looks solid from, from up close because, yeah, there we go. You can see that they're, they're not really on top of each other. It's just that one's behind the other. Yeah, still not too sure about that on the outside. I think we might have to add a little bit more detail, fanciful detail onto it. So, you know, the idea, um, people who live here. This is, I don't 
remember this being so overgrown, <laughs> is, uh, you know, they're living as part of the tree and their style is kind of has to go fit with the tree. It's kind of whimsical, fanciful, not very, um, you know, strict, straight lines. Everything has to be just so, yeah. Organic, right? Organic and whimsical, that's what we're going for. <laughs> so I haven't yet started on that one floor yet. I just got this first floor done here. Yeah, and I'm liking it. Not too shabby. Eesh, it's cute. Let's, let's get it from here. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Yeah. We can see the shulker markers in there. We'll get rid of those. Just a little bit of touch of detail there. Um, let's see the branch, the tree. It's holding it up. I think we'll continue this kind of detail out here, along here, and on this porch, and then we'll fix up the roof and we'll be done. Yeah. Done with the tree, such as I'm going to do, I think. Yeah. But I'm liking how it's coming together. Very much. And let's see, so we can get started, I think we can get started on this floor now. Done with the roofs for now, we'll get back to that, we'll get to that later. And hmm, this is kind of tricky, isn't it? <laughs> How are you going to get in? I guess that's really the only way to get in here, right? Is to come up that way. Because we have this. And come up this way. Come in here. And here. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'll get working on that and we'll see what it looks like and we'll be right back. Hey, some time has passed. It's spring, and so I've been busy outside cutting down scotch broom and blackberries and planting about, uh, so I've got about an acre's worth of scotch broom to cut down. And I've been um, planted about 15 fruit trees and bushes, a few olive trees. Oh, yeah, and trimmed 120 grapevines. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I've been doing. I haven't played Minecraft much. But, uh, and I have, so I did finish the tree, uh, but I didn't record while I was working on it. So, yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> so it is done. I'm pretty happy with it. It's a, kind of looking like a jumbled mess right now. Here we are. I mean, it kind of looks like a jumbled mess. Yeah, I say right now it's finished. Um, so, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, this part up in here in this building is a lot simpler. And down here, it's a lot busier. So, you know, whichever style you like or prefer, it has both. So as you can see, I finished the roof here, roofs. Um, and I put all these branches and stuff underneath it. Yeah. So the story I'm going with, whether it's a good one or not, is that this was a huge old tree, like, you know, the the trunk was actually way out here and up here <clears throat> and it's just gotten so old and cut down and used and just you know over the ages has declined and gotten smaller and smaller and these people have built on it down here on this part of the tree left yeah that's my story <laughs> so let's go take a look I'm assuming I'm wearing yeah I'm wearing wings okay that's good. We saw this little, this big fallen tree actually that J. Suit had made. And meanwhile, I had put in more lighting, uh, shroom lights, 
and landscape to put in these stairs here. Kind of tie, try to tie it all together. Put in some bigger mushrooms. And yeah. So it's finished. I'm pretty happy with it. It's it's pretty it's different than anything else I've built. Um, and I have plans for building on, you know, building more kind of tree houses and stuff, but we are coming to up to 1.17 and I'm not sure exactly what we're going to be doing with that. So I'm going to, we're going to be moving on to other things. I have some plans for other stuff and yeah, I really like it. It's different. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so remember we could go up the side here and or we could go through here. We can go up to the back door. Oh, I still have my stuff in here and I, I think I showed you this. I don't think I did anything different. That of course it'll only be a few minutes for you where <laughs> it's been weeks for me. Okay, so yeah, I did. Let me show you how out here. I'm pretty sure I did more out here that you haven't seen. So let's take a look-see. I, I finished this these stairs so you can come out here you can come from this side across this lovely little bridge there's the shopping district there's the estuary this is the estuary you put in as a buffer between the tree town the forested area and the desert area like a well, I don't know what you call it buffer it's not a buffer it's like um transition land area <laughs> goes from wet to dry and this comes in from that river and then i think yeah it carries on down this way and then that way too so yeah I'm out of practice i'll try not to be like looking everywhere so you can't actually look at things swinging my head around um yeah, so there it is. It's it's a big tree. Welcome to Tree Town. These are the stairs going up to J suits, and then so yeah, I finished these. So we can. Uh, how did I do this? I don't even remember now. No, that was a different way. It's this way. Uh, did I not do that? No, I didn't. You want to take this way? Kind of. Maybe I should fix that. I guess. Oh, you can go this way, but we need some. Hmm. Do I have any with me? No, I've got campfires for some reason. I don't remember why I have... Why do I have campfires? I was doing something. Oh, yeah. That's right. I remember. I was also adding another transition area here. Oh, wrong side. On this hillside. As you see, I uh, landscaped this hillside over here. Between the spooky house and this cliff. So it was all dirt, so I took it out, put stone in, and more dirt and soul sand, and then I made a smoky coal pit down there. That's what I was doing. Yeah. That's the last thing I was doing, I believe. Let's see, how do I, how do I get out of here now? Okay, so... What do I want to do? I want to, in case you want to go this way, I'm going to put some steps here. Uh, no? How about this one? This one? No, this one? I don't know. Do I have a... Hmm. Nope. I don't know what's in... I don't know what's in these. I don't even... Do I have a pick? Yeah, I do have a pick. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else do I have? Basalt. It's probably not that. I imagine this would be mostly stone stuff. Yeah. And then leave. So let's just make something here really quick. Um, what do we want? We want probably some. Do you want to use oak? Sure, why not? We can use oak. Mm -mm. And I need one of these. And I need some of these. And I probably have tons of these somewhere. Probably in one of those shulker boxes we just looked at. Okay. There we go. So now if you come up this side, 
all that for one little step. Yeah, two, there. And you can come up. <laughs> Either way, okay. Yeah. So I didn't make it easy, obviously. That wouldn't be fun. And then, so yeah. That's, that's pretty much all I did. I did. You know, a little bit of landscaping here again. More landscaping on this hill. And then here we go. So I finished this. And uh, this looks quite a bit different than we saw it last. I think it was just this, this platform, right? So I added a fence, some leaves, and vines, bushes. Always going to have bushes. I have not furnished the inside. I probably won't furnish the inside. So this looks pretty much the same as you saw a few minutes ago. And then I go up here to this level. Again, lots of bushes and overgrown vines. Yeah. And... Uh, this has not changed, I don't think, since I saw it last. I mean, I put in fencing here. Um, I put overgrown bushes here, and you get up to this level, this secret way, into this room. I like this room. The blue room. I think I would sleep in here with the open balconies. And, right, I can go back down this way open doorway to this balcony. Yeah. And I think that's it. Uh, did we go up to the... Can we go all the way to the top? I think we... I, I, I made it so confusing, I don't even know where I'm going. Yeah, uh, but... I guess there's no way to get to... I think I made another room, or is that just a roof? Well, jeez, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see if we... Uh, um, hmm. The money monster's coming in here. It's sleepy time. So... Oh, I know. It's, it's the other floor. That's how I did it. Okay from inside the tree. So you got to go in there from inside the tree. It's so convoluted that even when I've been gone for a while, I can't find my way. Okay, so to get up to those, yeah, so you have to go this way, right? No? Uh, this one? Wait, what? What did I do? Maybe I just, I just didn't even think about that. How do we, um, this is the rough, okay, um, let me see here, oh, there's no way to get into here, there, there it is now, this is how you come into here, <laughs> each one of these, there. And do I have, no, so I put a stair right there, so it'd be easier. Do you really need these? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, I guess we kind of do. Okay, so put these back. Bum, bum. Is this going to be a, a door? I think. This goes out onto the rough. So, no. Well, I could make a little window here, but yeah, let's just put that like that so they'll, they'll match. Do we need this here? Obviously, I had not finished this room yet because <laughs> there's even a torch in here. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Okay, so let's see. Do we have anything besides torches with me? I don't think so. Oh, one shroom light. Okay. Woohoo. There. Okay. 
And I guess we could put some bushes in here. We might as well, right? Since I'm here. Oh, I do have a lamp. Oh, I have lanterns right here. My, um, I just use a, um, a lamp. Maybe a couple lamps. One there and one there. Sure, why not? Okay, feel free to move in whenever you like. Oh, now I have this extra. <laughs> okay, yeah. this one obviously needs more bushes. Um, shall we add some more bushes? I mean, I could just keep adding bushes forever, right? But that's kind of what I was doing, was just covering up these stream lights. Like this, like, you know, because they, cause they're part of the, the whole tree and they're live things and they're attached with leaves they have leaves and branches that attaches them to the yeah okay and yeah so this is how you come into this room secret room give me my shulker back uh oh what do i not need i don't need that okay all right so it is finished we even got mushrooms growing in here. How cool is that? Yeah. Okay. And I think that is, that's the only rooms that, yeah, and that's how you get to this one. So, it's all done. Yay! Now it really is all done. <laughs> and as you can see, Dark Witches build used to be brown and green like these, and it's now an ice and snow biome. So now that we're finished with my stuff, um, let's, I can put this stuff away, and then we'll go look at some other cool things around here, some other developments. Uh, what can I put on? Let's just get rid of some of the stuff in my inventory. Okay, and... Okay, so we'll take a look-see over we can fly around hers, and then we'll go and full look at the cool stuff that Jaysuit has finished with his um, Persian build, which we call it. Yeah. All right. Can I fly? Uh, do I remember how to fly? This is cool. This is her base. I think you can go in, probably go inside somewhere. Ah, here's a door. Yeah, the inside hasn't changed much. It's still, oh, it's like a frozen over tree. <laughs> Ooh. Winter has come. You know, like the, the Narnia. When the witch made it winter all the time. It's alive inside. But as you can see from the gray wood outside, it's, it's frozen and cold. Very cool. So let's go take a look here. Um, I don't think, it's been a while since I've been on, but I don't think a whole lot has changed. Ooh, he's done some stuff here. Okay, let's take another little walk see through here. Um, if it ends up longer, I might just make this whole video into itself. He gave it a name. This is Kingdom of Agia Petra. He's got some more of these cool statues. I love that. Just love it. And yeah, we've got a little brazier here. You can campfire thing, bonfire. You can sit around. Very nice. I like it. Very cool atmosphere going. And let's go through here. He's done landscaping. I remember when I was on here before and he was talking about all the landscaping he was doing. Under here. Very cool. And around the edges of the, on the water. Nice. Landscaping makes such a huge difference, you know. It really makes a build feel more like it's complete and it's tied to the land that it's in. So I really encourage you guys to not you make some really cool builds not to leave the landscape untouched. I love this. So he's putting more 
walls along here and more trees and bushes. Very nice. So it just somehow makes it more feel more lived in to, to me anyway. When the land around the build seems more cultivated, even if it, even if it's a bit wild, um, humans have an effect on the landscape, for better or worse, but hopefully for better. Okay, so that he did some armor stand work here, so we're gonna go take a look. Oh yeah, here we go. He finished this uh, sculpting artist studio they're oh here they're loading oh this is the, this is right this is the this is the market he put people here going to the market and in the market cool and I know it's been so long I don't know if we actually already saw this <laughs> and they're doing a little trading Checking out the clothes. And he finished this aquifer. Or, what do you call it? Is that what you call it? Um, oh, look, they're here. There's some people. He's, is he asking for a bite of the apple or is he giving, did he give it to? <laughs> More landscaping. So. This build is finished. This is the artist studio, the sculptor studio that he finished. This guy's working on a statue here and here. They're carving away. He's lifting because of big stones. He's looking at the plans, sharpening the stool tools. Gotta have good tools. <laughs> the B-dub's working on the statue. <laughs> Love it. Leonardo would be proud. Okay, um, what else have we got here? Oh, I need to eat. I'm sorry if I'm rushing through this. I don't want to rush through it. I just kind of wanted to fit it all in the same video. <laughs> oh, this guy's taking a break back here. Resting. <laughs> a little meditation time. Taking it easy. Hey, Mumbo! Oh, and green. <laughs> that green fish face. They're waving at each other. There's some little houses in here. Very nice. Oh, I like these little cottages. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. These are nice. What's he doing? Hmm. Lots of activity going on. This is really cool, huh? So. Yeah. I'd like to learn how to do this too. Shall we? Shall we learn how to do this? We should. All the houses are furnished. It's very cool. Love it. And oh, yes, and he made some ships. So let's take a little. Well, actually, first let's take a little sleep and then we'll take a little fly around. See, this is already going to be kind of a long episode, but that's okay. It may be a little while before we come back to this place. So, as you can see, yeah, can we can we get up here on this platform? Can I? Can I? Can I? And I'm not. Oh, I did it! Wow, I did it! Wow! <laughs> oh, fantastic view. So let me hide my hands so we can take a look at it as it is. Take a screenshot for him. Got the ships coming in, the boats. I just love how colorful it is and 
all this stuff going on. And there's the theme is great and there's stories everywhere. Stock there. And look, he put the little wakes. I like that. He did that on, on this world of 1.13 world as well. I love these little sailing ships. Little boats. There's a big ship back there. Bringing in the stone. Working for the, um, or maybe shipping off the statues. Yeah. Very cool. Very, very nice. And yeah, it really ties in well between like the Mesa here, the Badlands, Mesa, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, let me slow down in case you want to take any screenshots. Get some cool ideas. Inspiration, inspiration, inspiration everywhere. And yeah, it ties in between the Mesa and the shopping district here in the desert really well. Love that. Okay, so I think that's it for now. I'm not sure exactly uh, when I'll be back on this world, um, but yeah, hopefully I can get back into a regular schedule now. I mean, I still have to do a lot of work on the, on the acreage outside, of course, but um, I think I've gotten to a rhythm. That's the main thing. Farm life needs a rhythm, right? <laughs> so may the wind be at your back and your days full of smiles. Mm -hmm.